Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's Hobbyland with our first box break of the day. It's going to be 2018 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball. It was released yesterday, but with all the NT madness. But we do have some today here. So Kevin Edwards with a personal box. Thank you, Kevin. And you get it from a fresh case as well. So let's pop this guy open. Let's see which box we're going to do. Get more personal box of this stuff on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We don't do a lot of personal boxes, very rarely, so take your chance now. I think we only have one case, too, so. All right, let's number the boxes here. We'll let random.org choose the box for you. All right, there you go, one through 10. So we'll go switch screens to random.org. And on the right where my finger is pointing, you'll see the true random number generator. So from numbers one through 10, let's generate a number. Box nine, number nine, right over here. There we go, all right, let's take a look at the box. I always like doing this. We got Mike Trout. On the front, two on-card autographs per box. That's nice. Eight cards per pack, 24 packs per box. That's all your other info right back here. There you go. You got some approximate odds. So pretty cool. Good luck. Now, Kevin, we'll, we'll, uh, I think you'll need to contact us, but I think, uh, what does the description say? All cards will ship, but if you want to donate vet base, we'll give you a $10 break credit to your next purchase. So just let us know either way. If we don't hear from you, we'll just, we'll just ship everything. All right, for new releases like this, I like to just open up one pack slowly, just kind of glance through the cards, just give us a good idea of what we're looking at here. There you go. Nice, and out of 250, Matt Carpenter. Oh, nice how they do the parallels the other way around. There you go, nice Matt Carpenter, 135 out of 250. So there is sort of a, sort of a gintery sort of look here, but obviously with sort of a slightly different design. Nice, there we go. All right, now let's stack up the rest of these, let's breeze through these. A lot of good artwork, nice clean design. I think there's, I want to say there's less non-sports stuff in, uh, in Gypsy Queen. There's more of a, almost a circus carnival sort of feel to Gypsy Queen. Whereas Ginter does include more uh, non-sports stuff, as a, if I remember correctly. Baseball season almost here, boys and girls, so I'm pretty excited about that. Next Thursday, if you need me to write a note for your boss or your uh, teachers or your professors or whatever if you're in school, let me know. We'll, I'll, we'll, we'll, I'll write you an, an excuse note. I don't know if it's going to be valid, but I don't know if your boss will care. But I'll, I'll, we'll, we can at least try saying, you know, hey, I want to take the day off. I want to watch a lot of baseball on opening day. It's the first time in, in ages that all the teams are playing on the same day, and I want to hang out with Jaspies and, uh, and break cases with them. I think it's I think it's it's a worthy cause. You know, if your boss doesn't want to do it, if your teachers or your professors don't want to do it, you can ask them, hey, do they also hate apple pie? You know? <laughs> why why do they hate such things? All 
right, here we go, Kevin. Good luck. Here we go. There's Chris Davis and Alex Wood. There's Roger Clemens. Not sure. Looks like it was, oh, we'll set those aside. I feel like there's a, there was a reason for that. Oh, I see, aren't these? Oh, maybe not, I don't know. We'll set those aside though. They must mean something. Must be some sort of shorter print. And look at this, tops of the Bazooka Joe gum background here. Young America's favorite bubble gum. You need like, you need like 10 of those. They lose the flavor so quickly. They're pretty good for that first initial 10 seconds. We got the tower. See, there's almost like a, yeah. Like a tarot card look here. That's kind of cool. Fortune teller, Dylan Batansis. What, what kind of fortune is it telling us? Oh, I see. So these, these hot takes right here. Dylan will continue his relief domination in 2018 to become the first Yankees pitcher since Red Ruffing to make five straight All-Star teams. Oh, there you go. I want to see more hot takes, more fortune telling. Francisco Mejia is going to be great. I think he might be one of the bigger names of the hobby this uh, this summer. Ace of Wands, there you go, another tarot card. I'm sure someone out there is building a tarot card set. Reese Hoskins will be another big name, big rookie name in the hobby. Hopefully he keeps it up. Justin Turner, broken wrist. He'll be out for a couple months. There's Matt Olson. Nice Aaron Judge. Might be another big name right here, Miguel Andujar. And there's our first autograph, Coda Glover for the Nats. That's Kevin's first autograph. There you go, Nationals should be pretty scary this year. Another fortune teller. Let's see. Let's see what they say here. It's for Daniel Murphy, who's going to start the season on the DL, with 1,500 plate appearances qualification by the end of 2018. Daniel will overtake Vladimir Guerrero as the franchise's career leader in average slugging and OPS. Wow, is he really? I guess he is. Yeah, he's pretty good. Logan Forsythe will will be playing third base. I think. I think that's what the Dodgers are saying. While. Uh, Justin Turner is recovering. Aaron Judge, what do you say about him? Aaron will, in 2018, lead the Yankees in home runs, runs, walks, and OPS for a second straight year, something no one else has done since Mickey Mantle, the Mick, in 56 through 59. Huh. I don't know about that. Giancarlo Stanton might give him a run for, run for his money. And we've got a Travis Shaw for the Milwaukee Brewers. Black and white. And 33 out of 50. Thunder tarot card. <laughs> I kind of like those tarot cards. And there's our other autograph, Blake Snell. Nice Blake Snell autograph. Chris Archer and Blake Snell, those are going to be the main guys at Tampa Bay. 
in their so-called four-man rotation. There it is, I think. Chris Archer and Blake Snell will be doing much of the heavy lifting in that four-man rotation. Fortune Teller, we'll check that out in a second. There's Shohei Otani. Now, I don't know if this is like uh, if this is like Heritage, but I'm sure that these will still do pretty well on a secondary market. Is it, I guess it all depends on how short printed this particular card is. We'll look it up after the break. The fortune teller, Bradley Zimmer, sustaining the pace of his, of his partial 2017 season, Bradley will log an extraordinary triple of 20 home runs, 25 stolen bases, and 15 outfield assists. Could we see that? I guess we could see that happening. I'll, we'll sleep these up in a bit. And we've got GQ Glassworks. Chrome box topper. And it's gonna be, wow, this is nice. Wow, Ian Happ. That's really cool. Cardstock is pretty thick as well. Are you numbered? Not numbered, but still pretty cool. I dig that. All right, well, Kevin Edwards, there you go. Thanks for giving this gypsy queen a shot. Got some nice stuff here. We'll see you next time for the next break. Thanks. Bye-bye.